Hello, YouTubers. Um, I have a little, like, mini fire alarm collection right here, which consists of two pole stations and the Wheelock MT Multitone horn strobe. Um, the two pole stations are the SIGA, Edward SIGA, and the Firelight, and the addressable Firelight BG12 LX, and I want to demonstrate each of the pole stations for you. Um, the Edwards... The Edwards SIGA um, is a dual action pull station right here. You just lift this little black handle up and pull on this like little switch that folds out. It says fire on it. It's sort of similar to the Simplex T-Bar, but like except it doesn't except it doesn't fold completely all, all the way down like the T-Bar does. Um, it has a key lock reset on it too as you can see the spot right here is where you put your keys to reset it and I'm going to demonstrate it for for you right now. Okay. Lift this little hand, handle up right there and then pull out. And then and then to to reset it you just go go like this. I got my key here. Put that in the correct hole right there. Oops, hold on. Just a second. Hmm. Okay. Turn it this way and then and then this part opens. Um the um the way it the way it, it's supposed supposed to work, um after you're done opening the box, you flip this little switch um back down right there to the normal position the switch looks like a little joystick um, then you then you close this back up like this and um, push this little like bar thing back in and then and then lock the and then lock the station like this and there you have the SIGA okay um, next one, um, I said consists of the Firelight BG12 LX, as you can see, it's in, and it's in, it's, as you can see, it's in, it's in its original packaging, um, I, I opened it up, but I put it back in its original packaging to show you guys what it looked like when it came in the mail, um, and then I'll, um, take it out of the package and demonstrate the, and demonstrate it for you also. Okay, there we go. This is what it looks like, right? This is what it looks like right here. Um, activation is also very easy on this one. First of all, you push this in and then pull down like that. As you can see, it says activated right there to to reset it. Um, just get the just get the key. And then put this in this this way. Like actually, I should. Oh, there we go. Okay, hold hold on a minute. I just need to put my camera on something so I can hold it while we're resetting it. There we go. Um, okay, all right, put your, um, okay, put your, okay, you put your key in, like this, okay, then turn it up like this, hold on, hold on here, and then you turn it up like this, and then when you open it, this thing, should pop back up. Hold on here. There you go, like that. And then, and then, uh, and then, as you can, and then, as you can see in here, um, it is the is the addressable part. Um, and then, how and then how you reset it? You put this 
back up right there to the normal position. Um, okay, and then you, then you, then you, then you close it, like, and then you, well, you, re, okay, you, you close it first. Oh, okay, read. I'll relock it first, then, then, then close it like that. And then, and then lock it like that, okay. Okay, okay, that was, okay, that was my video of my little mini fire alarm collection. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and, and also, please don't forget to rate and comment. And also, I have a couple of questions for you guys. What does the term addressable mean? For the fire alarm experts, the technicians, and professionals, what does the term "addressable" mean? And also, and also, what do the addressable modules do in there? And can you tell me what those mean? Okay. Once again, this is the end of my video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Okay.